We're here this evening. There's corporate greed going on. So much corporate greed going on. As I look around, I see these tall buildings, multi-billion dollar buildings. I see a beautiful day out here today. Everybody should be able to enjoy the sunshine. So in that case, everybody should be able to enjoy America. If I eat, you should be able to eat. If I'm warm, you should be able, you should be able to be warm. But instead, we have some people that don't think that I'm supposed to have anything or you're not supposed to have anything because they want all of it. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. So the reason that we're out here today is to bring attention to this. It's not only us here in Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia, but people throughout the world. We are people throughout the world are organizing and we're doing the same thing. We're trying to bring attention to the fact that some have a lot and some have so little. We, we are the 99% and we demand that we get what's due us instead of having just what's left over from the big tables. If we remember that we're all equal people and we should all have the same thing, then we'll be a much better world. Thank you. My name is Annette and I am an artist here in Atlanta. I live in the West End and the reason why I've decided to occupy Troy Davis Park is because of the community that is here. Um, I share a lot of the beliefs that a lot of the people here who are trying to get their voice and their message spread and heard. But I, I share the same beliefs as many of the people that are occupying the park. And I'm trying my hardest, along with them, to make this a really good community. Um, and it's the purest form of community that I've found so far, like in my whole life. Um, one of the main ideas that I believe in is sovereignty of the self. Um, and that's just knowing that you are your own person, you're on, you're, your own being and because of that like you should be free to do what you want to do um, there are restrictions to those things it's like you know if you're hurting another person but I think if you're peaceful and considerate of other people's and just being mindful of your actions and the consequences that they hold you should still be able to have those actions you know um, I myself have a little bit of difficulty being restricted to a race. Um, I'm Latino, but I'm mixed with white, I'm mixed with Native Indian, I'm, I'm mixed with black, and so I really do champagne racial equality as well as gender equality. Um, and just a lot of personal beliefs that in my life are becoming more and more apparent as I define myself as a young adult, and I want to hold those standards and spread the message and let it be heard. Well. I definitely believe in sort of just like person-to-person -person communication that with the help of technology they can spread their messages. Um, definitely to hold the rich and the 1% the accountable for what they do and have a system in order that checks them and their power that they have because they have the strongest influence over us, the 99%. Um, and so I really, I really, really want there to be some justice within just the blatant disregard to the actions of corporations like BP or Bank of America, even the Federal Reserve. You know, that's it's a very heated debate of it's not a United, it's not a, a U.S. government um, entity, but it has such a strong control with the government over you know our populace. Um, it's definitely a, a different scene to live in. Um, I recently moved into a warehouse space, um, an artist warehouse space, so I've, I've gotten a little bit used to living without the comforts that we're believed that we need. Um, but living here in the park, it's living in a tent, there's no running water, there's porta potties and there's a bathroom but it has a 10 minute timer. Um, but there is just this like great sense of sharing what you have with others and that if you do give out a little bit of your compassion to others, it's met. Um, the tent that I sleep in, it was donated and the, the first night that I slept here, I found friends here and they let me sleep in their tent and we just stayed up really late talking to people who were here and just having wonderful conversations and getting to know the people who make up this community. And that's the biggest part of it, you know. Um, gentrification is a very hot topic here in Atlanta, and you know, people feel bad that these newcomers come into 
these really old historic neighborhoods and they have no regard for the residents who have lived there and who have defined the culture to that neighborhood. And I feel like this is a way that we are gentrifying this downtown area, um, but we're trying to do it in the most holistic way. And we are trying to reach out to the community that was already here, the homeless community, even the community of people who live here in the Five Points and the downtown area, and inviting them to join in our community. And even if their ideas aren't the same as ours, we still accept them. What really uh, pushed me to come down was the fact that uh, everything that I saw on the internet, uh, mostly off of conservative blogs, showed uh, hippies in drum circles, people being asked questions and, and not being able to answer them. Um, what really motivated me behind that was the fact that, that corporations are considered people. Um, the Supreme Court case last year, uh, Citizens United versus the FEC, that gave corporations the ability to donate limitlessly and anonymously to political campaigns in the United States. Uh, I have a real problem with that. Uh, even a foreign corporation could have an infinitely stronger outcome on the, the race for mayor in Atlanta than you or I. Um, regardless of where the corporation's from, like even a corporation in China could affect uh, local elections, uh, federal elections, um, and corporate personhood in general, I think is wrong, and that's why I came out.